There are a plethora of different frameworks to choose from, but Flutter and React Native are the two titans of the mobile app development industry. Undoubtedly, both of these cross-platform frameworks have their own benefits and limitations. But at the same time, these fledging technologies are leaving many of us with a big dilemma when it comes to choosing which framework we should use for our next app idea. To help you make the best decision, I've got the answer to the most often asked questions in this video. Also, as you can probably imagine, I put a lot of work and effort into making these videos, so it'd mean the world to me if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And even like the video to help with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much for that, and let's get right into it. First of all, the programming language. React Native uses JavaScript as the basis, however Flutter uses Dot. From this perspective, React Native is much easier to learn because JavaScript is a lot more well known among programmers. However, if you've ever worked with an object-oriented programming language, you would probably adopt Dot pretty quickly. Let's have a look at the performance. Now, performance is probably the most significant difference between Flutter and React Native. In this category, Flutter has to be an undeniable winner. Due to the C++ engine that's used by the Flutter framework, it results in a much higher performance compared to React Native. Let's now have a look at UI. At this point in time, Flutter has a richer set of possibilities because React Native still has to use the third-party libraries while Flutter has its own built-in rendering components. Let's have a look at the documentation. Now, this is one of the more key differences between both Flutter and React Native. Now, Flutter has a richer documentation compared to React and it also allows young developers to learn the technology a lot quicker. But in React Native, it doesn't really work like this. The React Native documentation is more focused on describing complicated processes and it implies that everyone who reads it is already familiar with JavaScript. And hence, it's not the most beginner-friendly option that you can go with. Let's now have a look at the deployment. Now for deployment, Flutter has a very straightforward workflow for the deployment of an application to either the App Store or Google Play. We can do this by just using the command line but even for Flutter, there's a lot of other third-party tools available that can do this for you. So who's a real winner here, Flutter or React Native? Well, that's up to you to decide. It's nearly impossible to say which one's objectively better, because they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So understand what frameworks are the most important for your project, what aspects matter the most, and then choose a framework accordingly. I really do hope that you found this video informational, if you did don't forget to leave a like, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment as to what you might be going with for your next app development project. Thanks so much for that and I'll see you in the next one.